My friends, I want to show you this beautiful thing that we have here. We have a passing test for a resource manager. It's all part of the plan, part of the replan, part of the re-architecture. So if you are interested in knowing how we got to this point, 100% test coverage, and it's all green, at least for this file. Watch on, my friend. All right, LT Strange killed it. We have MP3 conversion scripts. Just a few tweaks, and I'm gonna merge this in. Okay, a few quick changes. I just added lib sound file, a note that you need it to the README. And that's it, really. I, uh, I added a comma here, because I'm crazy. And uh, I moved this file out of the models folder into the top level, and that's it. So other than that, LT Strange, you got it. This is sweet. Thank you for your contribution. I'm gonna merge it right now. Off it goes, thanks. Now my MR, or my PR rather, uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, support synth instruments. It got a little bit further than that as far as uh, what's included in this merge request. Here, this is a little nasty. Hard coding, channels, sample width, and sample rate. Horrible, horrible. Need to refactor, re-architect this, and I've been discussing that with LT Strange a little bit. We have some ideas. Stay tuned. I think maybe that'll be what we do in this video, or at least what we start. And then, of course, you saw in the last video all kinds of beats to sample nonsense, calculation problems. And yeah, this is basically everything we did in the last video, and a few name changes in the synth code, and this guy. Actually, before I merge, I might want to put this in its own thing. Nah, it's fine. I'm going to merge it. And some test updates from the last one, and that's it. So yeah, we've pretty much already talked about all this, so I'm just going to go ahead and merge this in as well. There it goes. See you later. Okay. All right, I'm going to tick out. All right, I'm going to check out a new branch. Rearch. We're going to re-architect this thing. So let's do it. I'm going to push that up. And we're off to the races. Let's see what we can do. Let's get started. Now for this one, I think I want to do test-driven development. So before I even get started, I'm going to go ahead and create a test, pa uh, test class. And I want a renderer. And I want a resource manager. So we're going to go TDD. We're going to write failing tests. And then we're going to write the code for those failing tests. And we'll repeat until we have something useful enough that we can go ahead and swap out a lot of the functionality that already exists in the code for very well tested classes. So let's see how far we get. So just a smoke test to make sure this test is running. It is, and there's actually a second test failure that we should fix real quick. I'm not really sure how to fix that, so I just wrote up an issue for now. Um, maybe we can look into it more later. In the meantime, just running my resource manager script, I have a red a test failure because there's no resource manager. So let's go ahead and create that. There we go, nice and green. What's next? So here's what I'm thinking. We'll start with get clip wave. Later on, we can do something like get instrument and so forth, get a pattern, whatever. And the output's gonna be, you, maybe you provide a config file or something like that, YAML. The output will be one of these model classes. And with the caveat, here's a slight difference. If you get the clip wave, it's gonna come out as a raw clip. So the clip is going to have nothing but binary data. We're gonna load all this stuff into memory or we'll let resource manager handle how much gets loaded into memory if we need to optimize that in the future. For now though, we'll just load everything into memory. So what this guy's gonna do is take files, take uh, like binary files that contain sound data. It's gonna take config data <clears throat> from YAML and it's gonna turn all of it into objects that are loaded into memory with all of the data that they need to be rendered back when the time comes. Okay, we're back to red here. I think we can get rid of the config directory because clip objects will no longer have to keep track of that. They're gonna have all the data that they need to be rendered inside of them as binary data. So we'll start with passing in the YAML config that contains the path to the clip and all that stuff. And we'll go from there. I think we might have to also define a working directory maybe and maybe there's a way to do absolute paths if we need to go outside of the working directory i don't know yet but let's start with that so i'm going to completely break everything because i can i'm going to delete clip type here's my theory path okay that's kind of nice to know but once this clip's loaded you don't really need to know what clip type it was right what was clip type sign or wave doesn't matter 
Doesn't matter if a synth generated it or if we got it from the file system. Path might not even matter, but I'm getting rid of clip type for now. I got rid of configure on this thing. I'm going to get rid of from dict. I'm really going off the rails here. Eventually, we're going to get rid of this too. I might as well comment it out for now. I'm resisting the urge to make this a data class because I know that that's going to box us in and it only saves a few keystrokes. But if we want to have things extend this class, it's going to make it a mess. For now, I'm really cannibalizing this class. I'm, I'm destroying it. And let's see where it takes us. So it actually passes. I'm going to get crazy and actually commit this code because it's going the way that I want it to. I'm going to leave this because we might need to reference it later. But for now, honestly, it's really just wrapping wave to NP. So I'm going to delete it too. Wow. Okay. Clip is looking simple. That's great. Let's commit and continue. Uh oh, I forgot to merge master. I'm in trouble. I have to fix this. Okay, that wasn't so bad. All right, next, let's make sure we didn't break the synth and that we can use it with that too. I'm also going to delete the start field because I think clips should be, we shouldn't store where the clip is within the song or pattern. We'll uh, make some other object to do that. So making some radical changes here, whatever. All right, maybe we'll add back metadata later, but I'm going to get rid of the path too. I don't think we need to store that. Crazy, I know. Okay, we have passing tests here. We have tests to make sure that it fails if you give a bad type. I know that I should check other stuff like frequency and length, but I'm not doing that yet. And sample rate. Eh, maybe I should do that. Either way, if it's a wave, it does wave to MP. If it's a sign, it does gen sign. No matter what, you get a clip with the same fields. So it's a real nice little... Uh, unified interface going on here. I'm liking where this is going for sure. And all right, you guilted me into it. I will check these fields real quick and then we're good to continue. There we go. There's your type checking. I even used a loop. So it's your lucky day. Nice. hundred percent coverage. I think let's see, uh, cov term report missing. Ah, I'll figure it out. Okay. So pie test, coverage for plain text DAW, resource manager.py. That particular file passes. The whole project's at 39%. Not perfect, um, but resource manager is at 100%. And hey, clips at 100% too. So if we could do that for all these, we will be in much better shape. However, I think that's all I've got in me for today. We've made good progress here, adding some testing to our resource manager. We can get clips into the same binary format, regardless of whether they're coming from a wave file or from a synthesizer. And certainly soon enough, we'll be doing the same exact thing for MP3s. So that's wonderful. We have a lot more work to do with this re-architecture we're undergoing, but at least we've gotten started. So that's it. If you want to get involved with this project, join our Discord. There's a link in the description. And maybe like and subscribe. Definitely, maybe. And stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.